Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer, a prayer for a pure heart to see God together. A Prayer for a Pure Heart to See God by Emma Danzi. Matthew 5 verse 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. As Jesus began his longest recorded sermon, he started with the Beatitudes. Each of the eight statements say, Blessed are. Following the sixth Beatitude is blessed are the pure in heart. What does it mean to be pure in heart? From the beginning of time when Adam and Eve chose to sin, the heart of humanity has been corrupted by the sinful condition. Scripture tells us that the heart is deceitful above all else. The truth is that our hearts are not pure. Nothing about us is holy. We were all once deserving of wrath, but because of God's great love for us, we have been saved by His grace. God says in Ezekiel 36, verses 26 through 27, Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you, and I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will be careful to observe my ordinances. When we ponder our own hearts of stone today, May we be thankful that Christ has given us new hearts. He has put His Holy Spirit within us to empower us to live in freedom and walk in His ways. One of the beautiful prayers written by David in the scriptures is Psalm 51. Psalm 51 verses 10 and 11 says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Interestingly, Psalm 51 was written after David's horrific sins of adultery and murder. Why would this be a time when David would have a pure heart? We see him in a broken and repentant state. He knows that his heart is sinful. It was not just physical actions against God and others, but the evil intentions found within his own heart. He requests renewal and pleads with God not to cast His presence from Him or take His Holy Spirit from Him. The only hope we ever have of a pure heart is by the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Today, as we pray, let's reflect on the work of God's Spirit in us. May we come to God repentant like David and surrender to His softening of our hearts. Let's pray. Dear Lord, We come before you today with hearts full of sin. We have been led astray in our own fleshly desires and have listened to the voice of the enemy. We have fallen into temptation. We have sinned against you and others just like David. All we have to offer you are filthy rags. You tell us that those who are pure in heart are blessed and they will see you. We are coming before you to request that by your Holy Spirit in us, we would have pure hearts and see you. Guide us and lead us to love you first above all. Help us to look to you in every moment. Open our eyes to see you in our circumstances, in the mundane and in big life decisions. Father, we need you. We ask that you would give us hearts that are flesh, not of stone. Forgive us for any areas that we have allowed ourselves to harden. Soften our hearts yet again by the mercy of your Spirit. Speak to us through your Holy Word. Thank you for your Bible. You say in Jeremiah 17, 9 through 10, Who can understand the human heart? There is nothing else so deceitful. 
It is too sick to be healed. You, the Lord, search the minds and test the hearts of people. You treat each of them according to the way they live, according to what they do. Lord, we all have a condition in our hearts called sin. We need you. We are too sick to be healed. But you, Jesus, have come to make a way for us to be forgiven, restored, and renewed. We celebrate that we are changed by you today. We thank you for giving us a pure heart. We are 100% miraculously healed. Help us to live out this identity as children of God. We pray for purity of heart today and eyes to be open to see you. Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.